bit of vision. Mickey shoved the mid wave really fast there, got three of the CS, no deny, so he gets his level two. Um, but he didn't land any real damage with the races onto the invoker, just fully using his mana to, to get that first wave secured. Top lane Yamich, just trying to pull these creeps over and make it a little bit easier. And also just trying to force the uh, eventually hit underneath the tower. But like you said, you do have that Maldic, and you know, it's a decent amount considering he's tanking a little bit of the creep damage and of course the clicks from Insania. So he's down to half health. Does have a salve though, so. Insania is oh, on top of this. Oh, he's gonna get the courier too. Ooh, yeah, that's the uh, that's the bracer right there. Not gonna have the uh, recipe for that for a little bit. Which is pretty oh. nice. I love the way Insania played this. He immediately ran after when the creeps got pulled because if he just doesn't go here, then I'm gonna go for this play. Not when you have someone like Spock or Whoa, look at me go. waiting patiently. Top lane, more pressure being placed on DM. He is left all alone, and this is excellent, the fact that they were able to identify he is alone, and uh, did... Well, identical CS right now for the both uh, both of the carries here. We have a good game going on for Morphling, but same can be said for the faces Void. Both are enjoying quite free fun. Rumble, running through from Yamish, but he's already got that haste spell, but we the Maledict off, but it's still going to be a kill. As now GPK forced to use the Tornado, because he's got three heroes, Chase. They even go for the Chronosphere because Matu has made this rotation. I'll be able to take out one of their main initiators. Good clean kill. Now Insania. They only managed to grab Insania on this. I don't think you're too upset about that if you're Liquid because now they're going to try to just move forward. They don't have any mana left though over on Boxy. That time dilation coming to play. GPK, he has that turn, but they follow up with the Chronosphere just to hold GPK in place, even though Point's not anywhere near here. And they'll go for that Requiem following up with the battery. So I'm going to move all the Zyde while this is going on and they managed to chase down GPK in the end. Really nice play there by VP. The fact that Matumba taking a bit of damage here from Ramses. We have the two birds and they're gonna poke away on the back lines. Over on Koda, they do manage to get the kill, but the hook shot and over onto Ramses. Get it comes back over to Mickey, but now he's a little bit closer to Ramses. So I'm not sure if that was necessarily what they wanted to do. That tornado coming out the coconut though, bouncing around. This is looking very bad for Morphling. Mickey, man, this guy is absolutely dominating. As Matu will clean up Koda on the back lines. They're getting up. Look how well they're playing, though, on that timer. They understand the cooldown of Chrono. They pressure as much as they can. And the moment that Chrono is about to come off, like five seconds remaining on the cooldown, they back out. Thinks this is a dead Dakota. Drops the kinetic field. Does manage to grab Matu. But I think Insania has got this all under wraps. While this is going down, we see that ramp is so close to finishing off that BKB. And that's going to be a huge power spike when you're up against something like a Timber Saw, like this Invoker. All these guys that rely heavily on the magic, but there we go. There's the Chronosphere. They drop the stairs from onto Insania, so he's not going to be able to get his ultimate off. And there's not much mana left on him either. It's not looking great. they will take down Zinnia, but now Matu, he gets caught out by GPK, and they finish off just cleaning up after Liquid. Yeah, there's there's certainly a large amount of burst, and we might see a rotation here with the smoke on Faces Void. They're looking to get a big pickoff. Look at the positioning by Yamich, though. He's smoke revealing on the cliff. That's pretty smart. They go, use the flare. They know he's up there. So they'll hook shot up, get that vision, and just burst him down. But it's still not here for the side of VP, because now not only do you have an Aegis, You've got the Chronosphere that you have to watch out for. They still have that BKB over on Mickey. Although Matu in the bottom lane, they do make the jump on him right away, but just not quite enough damage, I think, as he moves forward. Yeah. Goes to the Chronosphere, wow. grabs GPK, and Insania getting into position, walks into the Chrono, just wants to make sure, though, that he can get a stun up if necessary. There's the cast over on Hakoda. So it was a brilliant try coming out from BP, but at the end of the day, just not quite enough damage. What a nice Chrono 2, catching him on the edge there on bottom, along with DM. Possibly push them out of the jungle. But Liquid having a pretty decent read on us. Shame for Worth onslaught over onto his hand. Immediately goes for the Voodoo Switch through. We'll turn this attention right back to Yamish, so he's going to be the initiator, but he's still going to end up dying. And now DM not looking too great himself, as they do have that Death Ward. We'll go for a glimpse play back, which should be enough to keep DM alive. But the rest of the team, they're coming in hot. As they the send in BK, they send it inside. They want to get a stun off. They should be able to close the gap over on Hakoda at the very least. So that is going to be a dead disruptor. A nice turnaround after they try. Yeah, we 
saw a little bit of harass over onto Yamich. You can see that Mickey's playing more of a spellcaster SF in this game, by the way. He's going for a hex next item. Uh, two, gotta get Glimpse back, but they do have Boxy and they've got Mickey. You know what? Mickey doesn't care if he's silenced up. He's just gonna click A. He's got that ghost walk up currently. He's gonna try to make some moves over onto Zai. That spirit vessel charge followed with the meat bump and the hook shot over onto the back lines. Poxy will be able to put GPK back as Mondu pops the BKB. He's making his way over to GPK. He's gonna be able to help get the kill. Boxy's gonna get the final hit. As now DM is going to TP out, but they'll use the Chrono Sphere. They say, you're not going anywhere. Again, that Maledict coming into play. The Voodoo Switch Roo trying to get as much damage off off to TM as possible, and they'll be able to finally slay the Timber Saw after he's made it out. Looks hard on his cardio, but clearly, he has some schmooze. EPK throwing out the tornado into the Roche Pit. Pulverize comes off immediately over here onto Boxy. The fault of BKB on Matu. Oh, that's an early BKB. Bit of a window here for VP. Sitting a little bit low. DM jumping for that BKB getting popped from DM. The glimpse back over onto Matu though, into the static storm. This is looking pretty scary now. It's the use of G stick over onto Rest of the Matu. He will indeed pop to GPK. DM chasing after Zai. We've got such a split fight here. The attention though, going over to the side. They'll be able to grab up the photo. They'll finish him off. The follow-up again with another tornado. Delta split going on. Follow-up with the sun strike. Not going to be able to quite land. It is now Ramsey's making his way over to these supports on the side of Liquid. Gets a kill on Zai. No, and Matu, he was hitting some of these creeps, but is very fast. He's very mobile. Yamich sitting on the top. Going to be that uh, distraction. The birds do spot. This Roche is sitting at about half health. How do they get in there? Because look at Hokoda. He knows that he's got to be in position. And Monty's got to be careful. He's got to make sure that he can get that BKB in time. Zip forward and back. Out of there it is. There's the Chrono Sphere on the back line. He pops the BKB. Doing so much damage to GPK. He is going to die. Buy back though immediately from Yamich. From GPK. Zai left over here on the mix. They take this into the pit. Mickey trying to get some of this damage on. Static Storm gets dropped over onto Mickey. Yamich jumping in. But it's not enough. They get the kill over Hokoda. Now GPK, he fought back. He can't afford to die. There's Monty whales away on. Him. Try and keep this information. They get that deafening blast. A couple more hits should be able to do the trick. And by God, they have it as they get multiple buybacks. The fight is still going. They find themselves. Yamachi's running for his life. They do manage to get Mickey, but Mickey buying back immediately as well. Very little mana left over on the other side. It's left off to the side. So I try to do what he can. So end up getting a cover. They're still chasing after Ramses. There's the hook shot. They're coming out from Foxy. He gets those hands right onto this one and they'll drop oh God, off. They're going to push back over onto this morphling, but he's just so damn hard to kill. Yamachi's jumping back in. Sees himself. Foxy, he's got the pulverized. They've got Scotty damage. Do they go? back in those squishmots. He's somehow still alive after all is said and done. Is he going to survive this? He makes it out as they chase after Yavich. So just jump forward. Mazu gets him. So DPM is here. He's taking so much punishment, so much damage. Forces out that Lotus or Rams is forced to run away again. As they have a good advantage, but they're still 10,000 gold behind. They're in a good position right now, but that will switch. Once the Aegis is gone, it's again going to be VP who are quite comfortable in this game. Radiant's top tower has fallen. Is going to Power Ranger TP home. EP playing this bottom part of the map. DM will walk into Matu here, and there's immediately the blink with the sheep stick. The BKB comes out from Matu. He's gonna just use that Chrono Sphere. You have to be careful though. The rest of the team, are they gonna come back? No, they just realize we gotta leave them. We're not gonna take this fight. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> he thought about TPing out. He saw that boy. He's like, nope, nope, nope. I'm just gonna blink away. And Matu's still on the hunt. Again, he does have a refresher orb. He finds himself a coda. He's gonna go for that refresher orb just in case. Starts beating away over onto Hakoda. Should be able to get this kill, no problem. As now GP something seconds though left on the Aegis, so he does have to be respectful. Because they can dish out plenty of damage. Lincoln's on him, making it a little bit more difficult for Ramses to try to get that morph off. He's pushing, popping back and forth, gets the steal, but there's no shot coming out from Boxy, they push back over onto GPK, and he just doesn't stand a chance, he's down for 90-something seconds, no buyback on this Invoker. Right side Aegis does get reclaimed over on Matu, so they might want to be respectful of that, but these birds are just ripping through these racks right now, there's just nothing that BP can do about them at this time. We'll see DM coming back up in about 6 seconds. 
A little bit of the waveform over onto Bakus. BKB coming out, but already Boxy is going to be able to just keep moving. And there it is. There's the second Chrono here. Boxy does eventually get ripped apart, but they'll get the kill over on Yash. They have their eyes over onto DM. And Sadia, though, left behind. Most likely going to bubble Ramsey. He's so separated from the rest of the team. He can't survive that. He's immediately dead. Do you have the bubble? Probably all together. Right now, Radiant's you can't afford to play alone too much. And the bottom racks go down. Ray tracks dead to Let's just the birds. This is an opening now, knowing that they won't have GP Kedramish, though. Go for that try forward. The Lincoln gets popped, and there it is. It's already in place. The Mazi, he takes so much damage. So this is over. On to Yamash. Over onto the Kona. They'll get the kill. The buyback comes out immediately from the side of Yamash. The Yamash, though, he's so far away from everyone else. There's so much damage being put on the Yamash. Now going to Kroc. But again, they have the BKB and this new damage coming out from Mika. It's just so intense. Matu finds a kill. GPK comes up, but they have a second Chronosphere. That is just a dead end bunker. He's going to buy back. The chase is on a Ramsey, though. So they want to get him. He goes. He procs at Aeon Disc. He's got himself his own version of Faceless Void. Looking to possibly go back in now that GPK has rejoined the fight, as has VM. He's going to just put as much damage as he can over onto his eye. Boxy taking so much over the side. But somehow, still all life, still kicking as they go. They kill GPK again. Ramsey still just putting out the damage. Mata does go down and now the pressure is on here but Ramsey's doing so much damage DM's still alive still very very tanky they're going back in though they're doing a decent amount of damage here comes Matu they're trying to get there so I get himself a double kill on DM and now the chase is on can Ramsey's make it out in time and he made that play without having buyback available and he just gets All out scary. as well that's insane this is one hell of a match to start the day off with and we're still just on game number one I knew this was going to be good, and we're going to see a fight again here. Are they have a silver edge, though. They're going to open up over onto DM. They'll with the Chrono Spear. They grab the code off immediately. How much going to get cleaned up on the back line? DM has already used that BKB, but the bash has come out. Let's just Aeon. Just keep him up just a little longer. Ramsey doesn't really want to be here because with that Requiem Assault, they'll be able to kill DM. Two dead over on the side of VP. Three technically, but we do have a buyback. And yeah, we still have another Chrono there. with this refresher. They need to be careful, Rams. He's hiding in the tree line with GBK. Gets the alacrity off the jump over onto Mickey immediately. But there it is, a Chrono over onto three. They grab them. They should be able to blow up GBK. And now they want Rams. Are they going to be able to have the damage? Are they going to be able to do it? They call GG. They know it is the end of the line. Team Liquid starting off our day with one hell of a series against Versus Pro. Victory. Yeah, fantastic play from both teams here. A lot of crazy stuff went down. Oh my god, I mean, it's early in the morning here for me, but I feel...